something completely contrary to what the Most High would have a man to do because it had a Saturn image. He gave me the knowledge about Saturn. He gave me the knowledge about 13 right before I, got, I came into this information right here. Attention, black people are the real Jews, not Africans. This right here completely um, woke me up a little bit. Well, the Most High woke me up using some of this, but he did let me see this. So when I seen that these brothers was completely destroying and annihilating Christianity, but using this image that I had complete knowledge of that this, this um, I had knowledge of what images do and what, they, what their purpose is and what they're for, especially Saturn. So that showed me that they was doing something contrary to what the Most High required, but at the same time, they was teaching something lawful, which made me go seek, they were speaking something uh, that was in the book. So it, it made me go search for myself what's going on and, what, and see if this stuff is really true that they're speaking about, that I'm a, a, I come from the descendants of the real Jews. But all, I just wanted to show and prove that they're using their mouthpiece excessively, even in these camps, in the, in the, um, in, on the internet, on social media, on television. They're, they're speaking in all blasphemies possible, even trying to come as close to the real truth as they can. But as you can see with that, just that one scripture, I completely got contradicted what's going on right here in this one image. There's about 10 people right here in this little congregation for somebody's not doing something right or somebody's doing something contrary to the book. So I, I just wanted to bring that part out. Uh, this also, um, I want to go into exactly why. Um, they're causing division, and I want to show and prove that they are causing division. This is something that I gotten from social media. I just want to show that they are causing division. I, what I'm bringing out is the fact that why these divisions are are alive today. Why is there people like saying stuff like this? This is a, I, I I screenshotted this from social media. I'm not sure if this woman. I'm not trying to call this woman out or nothing, but I just found it very dividing of the people. Um, and, and I don't even know if she has any knowledge of it or even aware of what's, what real kind of division she's causing right here. It says, question for my GOCC family. Which Septuagint should I purchase and by what author? Okay, as I said, I'm not a part of no sect and no, no camp or nothing like that. But she makes complete reference to her GOCC family. Like, well, I mean, like, that we're not Israelite family, not Hebrew family, not her Hebrew people's but her GOCC family. So that's completely causing division. This is just one example of the division that they're causing. These camps, that's not unity. How is this unity? Question for my GOCC family. So not a question for all Israel, not to a question for the for the knowledgeable Israelites, but to her GOCC family. That's, that's, that's division. And, it, and it's coming out of this Choctaw people who are among us. And they're using these things, to, uh, uh, their social media, and they're using their camps to divide the people. Because that definitely isn't unity. This isn't unity right there. That's not unifying the people. That's causing division among the people. But I definitely wanted to bring out uh, a few of these things today that uh, the Chickasaws definitely had me, um, had me researching a little bit of the Chickasaws, trying to find some images, images of the Chickasaws, because they, they've hidden themselves pretty well. And another thing I wanted to note that that was being that that woman had a devil in her for real. That that woman in this video for certain was kind of was contrary to the real truth of the Bible. Um, I want to bring out a little bit of this history. This comes from Joseph B. Cobb, a settler who moved to Mississippi from Georgia, described the Choctaw as having no nobility or virtue at all, and in some respect he found blacks, especially Native Africans more interesting and admirable, uh, the red man's superior in every way. Now they kind of go into the red man, like you can call light-skinned people red as well, but I, I think this is a little bit of manipulation because as I just showed you, the Choctaw and Chickasaws definitely are Negroid people. Um, but he puts um, that the uh, more interesting and admirable, the red man's superior in every way. The Choctaw and Chickasaw, the tribes he knew best, were beneath contempt. That is even worse than black slaves. So the slaves had more nobility and virtue than these Choctaw and Chickasaws who were owners of slaves. So I found that history kind of interesting. There's definitely a difference between Negro Indians and Negroes from the slave trade. This Joseph B. Cobb history kind of goes into that. And if I was a Negro from the from uh, uh, a Negro Indian 
I definitely wouldn't bring that out. I wouldn't bring out the fact that the slave trade has more nobility and virtue than the Choctaw and Chickasaws. So there's definitely a difference between the two people. And it was so it was so um, notable that he actually put this down in history as having no nobility or virtue at all. And that woman that was in this vi video definitely didn't have that. So one thing I, I want to go into exactly why they're hiding the truth and why they don't want to they, they don't want to um, unify the people in truth and really tell the truth about who the Dan tribe is. Because as I put as I've, I brought out the history about how they've they've always been faithful allies and were um, they definitely was um, a part of the slave trade who bought slaves and treated slaves um, not in the way as a Hebrew servant. But like the same way that the Confederate South was doing slaves, complete atrocities and, and were completely slaughtered and, and sold indigenous lands. I want to go into exactly why these people are hiding who they are, okay? So here in Deuteronomy 30 and 1, where it says, And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations whither the Most High thy power hath driven thee, and shalt return unto the Most High thy power, and shalt obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day, thou and thy children, with all thine heart and with all thy soul. So this is a part, this is a prophecy of the blessing and the curse. That we know the curse hasn't happened until the last days. The full extent of the curses where we have been brought into Egypt again by way of ships and sold as bondmen and bondwomen to our enemies, plural enemies. That this is what we're bringing out today that identifies us. So when it says that when these curse, the blessing and the curse come upon thee, and we shall call them to mind among all the nations, because we're scattered among the four corners of the world and all the nations, and we're going to bring these things to mind, which brings us back to the remembrance of who we are. Here in verse 2 says, that when we return to the Most High's covenant as the children of Israel, I'm going to go to verse 3. That then the Most High thy power will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee, and will return and gather thee from all the nations, whither the Most High thy power has scattered thee. So we once again scattered throughout the nations. Verse number four If any of thine be driven out into the outmost parts of the heaven, from thence will the Most High thy power gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. And then, and the Lord thy God will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed, and thou shalt possess it. And he will do thee good and multiply thee above thy fathers. So this here was given in the time of Moses, when he was right before they was coming into the land. And when he says multiply thee above thy fathers, this is definitely a prophecy because at this time there was only six hundred, a little over six hundred thousand people that was going into the land after forty years of wandering in the wilderness, and the previous six hundred thousand were killed off and died off. Um, he says that he will multiply thee above thy father. So this is really a prophecy. Verse number 6. And the Most High thy power will circumcise thine heart and the heart of thy seed, to love the Most High thy power with all thine heart and with all thy soul, that thou mayest live. And the Most High thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. This verse number 7, Deuteronomy 30 and 7, is exactly why the Dan tribe today is um, causing divisions. They're causing uh, uh, falsehoods to come out. They're bringing out falsehoods. They're not bringing out the whole truth. They're causing divisions among the people because of Deuteronomy 30 and 7 applies to them. You have people asking today, what's going to happen to the Dan tribe? Or is the Dan, does salvation pertain to the tribe of Dan? That's... You can't save the heathen and the enemies of the Most High from De Deuteronomy 30 and 7. This is exactly what is about to happen to the Dan tribe. This is why they don't want the truth to come out. It's because of Deuteronomy 30 and 7. So they're going to try and keep our people in the midst of sin as much as possible. Get as close to the truth as they possibly can. But it says here in verse number Deuteron in Deuteronomy 30 verse 7, And the Most High thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies. And on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. So all of our enemies that persecuted us and, and um, had, uh, sold us among the nations and scattered us among the nations, the Most High says he is going to put all these curses on our enemies. So being the fact that the serpent, by the way, and the adder and the path has been partakers with these adulterers and has consented with the thief, 
These things pertain to the Dan tribe. This is why they don't want us for real unifying as a people. This is why they're causing divisions. This is why they bringing out falsehoods. This is why you got your Israelite camps today. This is why camps ain't teaching you who the Dan tribe is. One thing I noticed when it comes to all the tribes that they got a chart for it, and they going what what they'll be like, okay, what's what's your nationality? Okay, I'm gonna uh, say you a uh, uh, Jamaican. Oh, you from the tribe of Benjamin? Quickly. But when it comes to the tribe of Dan and the Choctaw woman, when she told him he was from the Choctaw tribe, you see he didn't tell her what tribe she was from. <laughs> he ain't going to tell her what tribe she's from. He ain't tell her that she was from the tribe of Dan. He didn't bring out the fact that the Choctaws are the Dan tribe. And, and is, you, you research the Dan tribe and see how some of these camps and some of these groups and Israelites, they, when they do videos about the Dan tribe, they never come out openly and just tell you flat out who the Danites are. It's always some kind of long breakdown in the middle of some other breakdown, or this goes. We're gonna go into the Dan tribe too, and you know they'll bring out all the precepts, but they never flat out say, "Okay, we're gonna prove, show and prove with history and, and scripture that the Choctaw and Chickasaws are the Dan tribe, or we're gonna show and prove with history that so and so is the Dan." Nah, they don't do that. They 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 do everything they can to manipulate the truth. So, brothers and sisters, I want to continue to um, encourage our people to increase in knowledge, increase in understanding. And as I said before, you don't need these Israelites for nothing. You don't need these camps for nothing. All you need is the word. All you need is that book. And to keep the book, once you start putting these commandments and laws and statutes on, understanding, and, and you do this stuff wholeheartedly, which is part of the reason why I believe that the Most High has revealed so many different things that's pertaining to this Dan tribe to me, is because I've, I, I, I've did everything I can to try to put these things on as well as learn them. Not just learn them, to know them, but to learn the scriptures to do them. And then once I set myself to understand what's going on and what, who these people are and what's going and, and, and why nobody is teaching them, I believe he revealed these things to me because I set myself to do them and teach them. And it's not, I'm not a, a, a weak man. I'm a meek, I'm a meek man. You know, I got my soft spoken somewhat on the shy side, but when it comes, I'm definitely not a weak man. I have no problems coming out flat out telling you that these Choctaw and Chickasaws who have been partakers with our oppression and persecution are the Dan tribe. And it says here, verse number 7, I'm going to go through Deuteronomy 30 and 7 one more time. And the Most High thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. That's exactly why they don't want the real truth to come out. That's exactly why they're going to give you a, a, an image of of a 13 with a Saturn and tell you to put on this shirt and this image and add stuff to the scriptures, delete stuff from the scriptures, whatever it is that they can do, they can do, they're going to manipulate you. They're going to keep you from that knowledge and from the real true doctrine of the Messiah, which is the only doctrine that leads to salvation. So they're doing everything they can in these last days. And as I said before, they're throwing the kitchen sink at us, using their mouthpiece, using their media, the internet, whatever it is that they can, they're doing it. Because they definitely don't want to see the curses, the little bit of persecution that they've taken on from from the um, from 1866 and the, or the end of the Emancipation Proclamation when slavery was abolished and have been integrated with the Negroes. That little bit of persecution, which isn't even the equivalent to the slave trade, Jim Crow laws and, and segregation was nowhere near the slave trade. So they're really going backwards in freedoms. Their freedoms are going backwards. They've gone from owning slaves to being mixed in with the slaves and catching that Negro persecution to where very soon comes their, comes their turn. They never suffered Deuteronomy 28, 15 through 68, but they soon very well are going to see what these curses feel like upon themselves, which is what it means in Revelation 2 to uh, rule over the nations with a rod of iron. We, it's because these curses, we're going to be ruling over these nations with a rod of iron, and these curses are going on our enemies. And with that, brothers and sisters, as I continue to say, study the scriptures, study the scriptures to know them and do them. Once you sound in the word and sound in the truth, we unify as a nation of people under the real truth, under the real knowledge of the book. We come in, we bring this knowledge, I'm bringing this knowledge out to unify the people, to show you exactly why we have certain divisions like this, and Israelites talking about questions for only their GOCC family when we all Israelites. So that's separation, that's not, 
that's not unity. But I, that's what I'm. That's the purpose of me bringing out these Choctaw and Chickasaws and the real tr truth about this Darren tribe is because these are the people that have caused the, the divisions today. This is why you got a hundred, hundred different religions, hundred well, a hundred thousand different denominations. Well, to be accurate, thirty-five to forty thousand denominations in Christianity, and then you come out of that stuff. You got Israelites already causing divisions, and this is why because of these curses. They don't want these things to happen to them. So they're doing everything they can. So with that, brothers and sisters, I want to say shalom and increase their faith, increase your learning, and I give all the praises to the almighty, powerful, powerful strength of the 12 tribes of Israel.